Hey everyone, it's Kaylin here and thanks so much for visiting my channel. Uh, today we have a Pilates sculpting and toning workout for the upper body. So we're going to focus specifically on the chest and the back and we are going to use some light weights today. So um, if you don't have any light weights, that's okay. Um, I prefer anything um, maybe two to five pounds. I'm going to start out with fives and probably drop them to something around three uh, part way through for um, some of the other stuff we're doing. But um, if you don't have any weights, use some water bottles, one in each hand. You can use some cans of food, just as long as they're equal weight, um, then great. those are great substitutes. So, so you just need your mat, some weights, and we'll go ahead and get started. So we are actually gonna start with some warm up here first. We're gonna stay on the knees or in a comfortable position, um, seated. And we're gonna take the arms into that goal post position. And we're gonna bring them together and then open them, up, open them up and squeeze the shoulder blades on the back. So bringing them together, we're gonna squeeze the chest and then we're gonna open, squeeze the shoulders. So as you're moving, don't let those ribs flare or pop. Keep them in line with the ribs, sorry, with the pelvis. Good, and together and open and squeeze. Good, let's do four more, four, good, three, Last two and last one. Good and open. Now I want you to take your hands, I want you to uh, press them together. So press your palms together, squeeze them, squeeze the chest here. And then you're gonna take the arms behind you, clasp the hands and then squeeze the shoulders as you lift the arms a little bit, engaging into that back. And then bring it back forward, squeeze into that chest and then bring it back. Good, clasp the hands and squeeze the shoulders. So I'll go ahead and face the sides so you can see. Good, bring the hands together and then bring them back. Good, try to draw the palms together and squeeze. And again, squeeze forward, press. Good, back and open. Good, two more sets. Good, back, palms together and press it away. Last one, squeeze. Good, bring it back press and lengthen. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and come on to our back. I'm going to start with my five pound weights today. Again, anywhere two to five pounds is probably a good weight. And if you don't have any, that's okay too. Just think of moving those arms nice and slow if you don't have weights and really feel like you're moving through mud or honey with those arms. All right, so go ahead and bring those legs into tabletop position. All right, we're gonna add, we're gonna do single arm chest presses. Now with the legs in tabletop, we're obviously engaging our core to try, to try to keep the knees over the hips, elbows to the sides, palms facing away from the body. And we're gonna press one arm up here at a time, trying to keep that shoulder blade pressing into the floor. So don't let that shoulder pop up and off as you press that arm up. Good, press. Good, so this is pretty, doable here. So I want you again to focus on that core stability and moving those arms with control and intention. Now, if you want to add some, some core work, we're going to extend the right arm up, extend the left leg forward. Good. Pull it all back down and in switch to the other side, left arm up, right leg forward. Good. And switch. Good. Switch and reach. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Very nice. Good. Lengthen, don't pop those ribs here either. Keep them pulling down and back. Good, reach it up. Let's do one more each side. You can always keep those legs just staying in tabletop position. All right, now we're gonna take your feet to the mat and we're gonna bridge our hips up and hold them in bridge position while we do double arm chest presses. So go ahead and lift the hips. Good, hold here. And then we're gonna to start to press the arms up to the sky and then bend, bring it back down. So we press and bend. So just stabilizing that lower body, just moving that upper body. You can always keep the hips down, maybe come back to that tabletop position with the legs if that works best for you. Good, press and bend. Let's do four more, four, good, three, last two, 
And last one. Good, bring it all the way down and then lower those hips all the way. All right, go ahead and bring the legs back to tabletop. We're gonna bring the arms back up for a single arm chest fly. So again, we're gonna hold the legs in tabletop here. Nice and engaged core. One arm is gonna go out at a time. So go ahead and take that left arm out to the side first. Elbow will touch the floor, bring it back up. Switch to the other side. So you're using your core quite a bit. As one arm goes out, the body is gonna to wanna to twist and rotate to that side. So you have to use your core to keep yourself centered. Good, open and center. Slight bend in those elbows, open and center. Now you can add that opposite leg here. So as the left arm opens, the right leg reaches forward, bring it back in. Let's switch to the other side. Good, and in. Good, open, together. Good, reach, and in. Good, keep alternating. Good, and in. Two more sets, two, two. Good, last set, one, and one. All right, go ahead and place the feet down. We're gonna keep the, the arms in that chest fly position, bridge the hips back up again. Hold the hips lifted, stabilize here. We're just gonna open and close the arms. So elbows tap and both arms will move together. So both weights moving, coordinating at the same time. Good, open and together. So as you're moving, glutes stay engaged. So you get a little extra lower body and core work here. Good, let's do five more, five, four. Good, last three. This is very much like the hug a tree exercise we do. Good, last one, open and close, and then go ahead and lower those hips all the way back down. Go ahead and bend the elbows and bring the arms down by your sides and release the weights. All right, bring your knees into your chest. Go ahead and rock yourself up to seated. And we're gonna flip over into an all fours position. So I'm gonna go ahead and face this way. I want you to have your weights right here at the top of your mat. So we're gonna do what's called a renegade row. You may have done these before. It is not a traditional Pilates move, but it uses a plank position and uses that core while you move the arm. So this is gonna be a, um, that arm is gonna be that back exercise. So I want you to find your weights, one in each hand, with your hands on the mat. Now obviously if you're using water bottles or cans, you can just do this without anything at all. And I want you to find a plank. It can be kneeling, can be toe or on your toes. Good, find that long line, pull the core in. Now, you might wanna widen the knees and toes here a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and pull one elbow up by your side. Let's start with your left arm as you row it into your, your rib cage and then bring it back down. Switch to the other side, row that arm in and bring it down. Think of your um, hand coming actually more by the hip than the rib. So hand comes to the hip, elbow comes up towards the ceiling. Now what you're trying to do here is stay stable with that upper body. So again, you're using that core so you're not rotating side to side as you lift that arm. Good, in and down, good. Now we're gonna add a little tricep extension. So you're gonna pull the arm back, extend it, bend it back in and then lower. Good, bring it up, extend, bend, and lower. Good, in, extend, bend, lower. Again, you can come onto the toes if you want a little extra challenge. Good, bend, extend, in, lower. That's it, we're almost done. Good, we have two more sets. Take a break if you need to. Good, last set, up, extend, bend, lower, last one, up, extend, bend, and lower. Beautiful job. Okay, let's um, come into a hinged position with the upper body. We are gonna do some, we're gonna alternate between rows and push-ups here. So we are going to grab those weights. I want you to have your palms facing down and you're gonna hinge forward 
core is engaged, glutes are engaged, and we're not arching that lower back. Now, wide rows. So you're gonna bend the elbows back and then bring them back forward. So they come back and forward. So the palms stay facing towards the body or in and then back behind the body as you bend those elbows in. Good, bend, extend. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades. So this is that back exercise here again. So we bend, extend. Good, three. Good, squeeze two. Good, last one. Good, set the weights down by your sides. Come forward with your hands onto the mat. We're gonna do push-ups here. So we're gonna do those diagonally at 45 degree angles with the elbows on the knees or the toes. Let's go ahead and bring it down. So we bend the elbows, press it back up. Good, bend and press. Good, so the elbows aren't close to the sides and they're not way out to the sides. Again, they're at that 45 degree angle back behind you. Bend, extend, three more, three. Use that breath, two. Last one, good, and then bring it up. All right, we're gonna move back to those rows. We're gonna do a slightly different arm position. So, weights in the hands. We find that hinge position, core is strong. Now palms will face up towards the ceiling. Now we bend those elbows in and reach forward. Bend and forward, good. So now the weights in the hands come by the hips as those elbows come back. Squeeze the back and forward. Good, squeeze and forward. You can see I'm not sitting on my heels. So this is requiring glutes and core to stay nice and stable in this position. Let's do four, three, two, last one. Good, bring it down. Set the weights by your sides. We're coming back to those push-ups. Good, find that kneeling plank or full plank. When you're ready, bend those elbows. Exhale, press. Good, bend, extend. Good, four. We have four more. Five. Six. Seven. Use that breath. Last one, eight. Good, extend, and then go ahead and bring it back up. Okay. We are gonna do a same hinge with a tricep extension, or sorry, a tricep um, extension into a straight arm press. So we are going to find that hinge position. All right, so we're gonna bring the arms down by your sides. You're gonna pull the elbows in and back, extend the arms back, bend in and lower. Similar to that renegade row that we were doing before. Give me two more, two, Good, last one. Good, this time bend the elbows in, extend it back, hold the arms straight, lift and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bend the elbows back in, lower them down. We do that again, bend, extend, bend, forward. Good, bend, extend. So we get some triceps here in addition to that back. Good, narrow row, extend, bend forward. Next one, we hold the arms straight and hold, press it up and back for eight, seven, six, five, four. Roll those shoulders down and back, two, one. Good, we have one more set. Bring the arms forward, bend it in, extend, bend over. Good, bend, extend, good, bend. Extend, good, last one just like this. And then we do one more, bend it in, extend, little pulses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, go ahead and lower those arms all the way down. All right, last set of push-ups here. We have one more set of eight. So go ahead and bring it back forward into that plank position. All right, when you're ready, bend those elbows. God, I don't care how far you come down, as long as you're keeping that straight line, not arching your back. Four, 
five. Good. Three more. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, beautiful job. Go ahead and widen those knees. Let's bring it back to a child's pose. Oh, deep breath in and deep breath out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break, grab some water, shake out the shoulders, and we'll be right back in a moment with some more. All right, if you're using five pounds, you may wanna to move to a lighter weight now. So I'm gonna to move to my three pound weights. We're gonna move into a forearm plank. I want you to grab just one weight in your hand. So come on to, I'm gonna to come to my left side first. And we're gonna find just a kneeling plank position. And we're gonna move the arm when we're up in plank. So I want you to really engage down into that bottom shoulder, lift the hips into that kneeling plank, press the hips forward. Take this arm, bring it up, but keep a soft bend in your elbow. So this is similar to that chest fly. So you're gonna bring the arm forward, not all the way down, and then bring it back up, squeeze the shoulder on the back. So bring it forward, good, and then bring it back up and back. So we get a little bit of chest, a little bit of back here, and a little bit of core all at the same time. Good, and lift. Good, three more, three, two, last one. Good, use that core to stay nice and stable, and then bring it all the way up. So I want you to sit into our mermaid now. Mermaid position. Keep the weight in this hand. I want you to pull this elbow by your side. Feel the shoulder pulling down on your back. Feel that back engage. You're gonna reach the other arm up and over. And then we come into a side bend mermaid. So that hand comes down. We bend the elbow, bring that arm up, reach over. Good, come back up, squeeze that elbow down. You should feel that engagement in that back and side body. Good, reach up and over. That's it, and bring it up, squeeze and over. Yeah, let's do three more here. Three. Last two. Oh, it feels good. A nice stretch. Last one. Pull it down, squeeze, and bring that other arm up and over and sit it on up. Let's go ahead and switch the hand to the other side and come into that side plank position. All right on that forearm. Go ahead and lift yourself into that plank. Find that stability. Take that other arm, top arm, slight bend in the elbow. It's that chest fly here. So you bring it forward. Good, and squeeze it back. Good, forward, and squeeze it back. Good, and back. Nice job, forward, and back. Just three more, three. You got this. You could always bring the hips down and just do that top arm as well. There's always modifications. Good, lower the hips down now. Let's come up to that seated mermaid position. All right, so sitting up tall, keep that weight in that same arm. So we pull that elbow down for that beautiful back engagement, reach that other arm over, and then find that side bend. Stay in control here with that weight. So once you add the weight into that side bend, it's gonna be a lot more pull on the shoulder. So you really need to stay in control of your core so it's not too much work in that shoulder. Good, reach it over. Okay, let's do two more. Pull down and squeeze, that's it. Good, pull down, squeeze, and bring it all the way back up. Beautiful job. All right, let's take these three pound or light, lighter weights and bring them to the top of your mat. And I want you to lay on your belly. Um, coming onto the belly, and actually, we're only gonna use a single one of these weights. So you can pop one out of the way. I wanna grab the other one, and we're gonna place it right here into the chest. So the forehead's gonna be on the mat. The hands, one hand is on either side of your weight or whatever it is you're holding. And reach the legs long, 
lay them on the floor, but then engage the glutes, engage the belly. Now, I want you to keep your legs on the floor. Lift, start to lift your upper body into swan with the weight. Now, go ahead and extend the arms forward with that weight. Bend the arms in and then lower back down. Good. Do that again. Lift up into that swan. Extend the arms forward. Keep the core in. Good. Bend the elbows and lower. Good. Lift. Good. Extend those arms. Pull the arms down. Squeeze the shoulders on the back. Lower down. Good. Now we're going to add the lift of the legs as well. So now lift the legs here. Good. Extend those arms. Good. Bring it in and lower down. Good. Inhale, lift. Upper and lower body lifts. Extend the arms. Bend and squeeze the shoulders. Lower down. Good. Last one like this. And we're going to change it up just a little bit. Good. Bend it in and lower. Okay. Now, this time I want you to lift up. Upper and lower body lifts. You're going to hold it as you straighten the arms out. Bend the elbows in. And again, straighten the arms out. Bend the elbows in. See if you can give me three more. Three, two, last one. Lower the spine all the way down. All right, let's go ahead and toss. Well, don't toss it, place it off to the side. That would not be good, throwing your weight. Go ahead and bring those knees wide and feet together, hips back for child's pose. Oh. I certainly wouldn't want to be to blame for something getting broken by tossing that weight. I think we've all been at that point in a workout before where we are just done and we do want to throw those weights as far away from us as we can. However, I don't recommend it. <laughs> all right, take one more breath here. And then go ahead and sit onto the heels, bring yourself all the way up. All right, just come to a comfortable or a seated position because we are going to move the legs a little bit. So maybe sitting forward, go ahead and cross that left um, leg over your right. So we're going to do a little seated twist. So we're going to pull this leg in towards you with that opposite hand. And then we're going to take the other arm, twist, look over that shoulder, that yummy stretch. So it should feel really nice on the back and in the spine. After all that back work we just did. Good, bring it back through center to give me a counter stretch before we switch to the other side. So same arm on that same leg, twist, look over that shoulder. Good, bring it back to center. All right, let's go ahead and switch legs. Good, sit it up nice and tall. Go ahead and take that other arm, opposite arm, bring it around, twist. Look over that shoulder. Good, come through center, counter stretch. Good, and back to center. All right, let's go ahead and come to a, now a regular comfortable seat. I want you to take your hands, clasp them in front of you. Turn your palms to face out, round your spine as you press those arms forward. Good, and then lift it up. One more time, just like that. Press those arms forward, round the spine. Good, and lengthen. Now take those arms back behind you for that stretch in the chest. Now we pull the arms down, back in together. Lift the chest open here. Uh, and then release those arms. Hope you guys enjoyed that one today. That one was definitely um, a fun one, a difficult one, especially challenging right at the end. So hope you guys liked that. Um, that focused chest and back workout. Uh, still engaging the core, right? We still have all those same Pilates principles and just we're adding on that extra weight and resistance. So for that additional sculpting and toning. So thank you guys so much. Um, if you're interested in doing a little bit more, I will include a longer stretch here. So I'll go ahead and bring a stretching workout up here. And then down here, I'll like a lower body workout if you wanna go ahead and add on today and make this a little bit more of a full body class. So thank you guys again. Uh, please let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you back here again soon. Bye-bye.